This is farm remastered, but every single round, something is going to change. God, can we just appreciate how amazing the perks look? Like the Cold War ones on this map, especially. Oh, it just, it fits very well. That lens flare, when a perk is purchased, a random zombie teleports near a player. Okay, so I'll buy Quick Revive. You're going to teleport a zombie on me then? In theory, huh? Where is it? I don't see it. I got scammed. Okay. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be interesting. I haven't played farm remastered in a while. We've got Vigor Rush. Obviously, we have all the Black Ops 4 Zombies perks. I've just kind of been experimenting with it recently. And we've also got, like, you know, Elemental Pop. Fun to try out. Oh, we got a nuke. Okay. When a grenade is thrown, can't slide. Okay. Not really ideal, but it's fine. We've got Death Perception just hidden in the corner. Oh, is that Vulture Raid? Hello. So where's the box? Of course, it's up there. We have a Wonder Fizz in there by the looks of it. Yep, there is the Wonder Fizz. And a Bowie Knife. I actually kind of want to pick that up, you know? It'd be nice if we could turn off the fog on BO3 but sadly there is no command unlike plutonium oh a free perk let's go speed cola but r underscore fog oh wait fog zero didn't do anything okay yeah so it doesn't look like there's a, a command to get rid of it this is a custom map after all so we have absolutely no ammo when a gumball is eaten a random zombie teleports near a player had a lot of teleporting so far huh we're definitely gonna pick up dying wish soon Jug over there. Go for the box. What is in there? I see a Reagan Mark II. The Rays are back, of course. MAA7. I suppose it's not bad, you know? We'll go for another spin. Come on, come on. Something decent. The ICR. Okay, I mean, it's not bad. It's not bad. There are other guns I probably prefer. But oh, hello. Where did you come from? Some kind of a TV here. Is that an M16? Without uh, ammo in it? Okay. Which zombies map did you guys prefer? Did you prefer town or farm? Because for me, it's like an easy town W, but that's just because Pack-A-Punch was on the map. Like, I really enjoyed farm as an aesthetic because when it released, it was like around the same time that Walking Dead was becoming super popular. And, you know, season two was set fully on a farm. So you got that vibe sort of linking in the show with the game and being able to play and everything. But just not having Pack-A-Punch is really quite a letdown. I'm assuming this one doesn't have pack a punch either but when a player slides held gun becomes unpapped i mean that's fine with me because it's not like we have pap anyway unless it's like hidden around the map but this custom double tap machine is actually stunning by the way oh god hello i just wanted to buy a perk flipping hell i like getting double tap as one of my first perks now it just it has more of an impact i think because jug is only really useful if you're a bad player and getting slapped too much which don't get me wrong, is me a lot of the time. But double tap, it kind of just gives you that instant boost of damage that you really need. Like, Jug is definitely a perk that's extremely good at the end of the round. Also, speaking of end of the round, double points. Okay, but I meant to say Jug is better at like the towards the middle to end of the game because in the early game, you're not going to get slapped four times that much really are you or five times in bo3 what are we gonna get we got a ffar okay this gun's actually pretty good oh hello burning alive okay there's me talking about not needing jug and i'm almost getting one slapped by a zombie my bad dude my bad oh a free perk let's go please be jug Dying Wish, okay, actually pretty useful though. I think this was always the go-to strat, right? When you're playing on farm, you just sort of sit back in this corner and you drop off whenever it gets too dangerous. As always though, a link to this map and the mod will be in the description. I use the Reaper collection for cause and effect now, just because you can have all these like custom perks on, which is so fun. Oh my God, I'm not dead. <laughs> but yeah, we can have the custom perks. We can have the... Uh, the ray gun smg how am i red screened oh my dying wish activated what that was weird let's just get jug jesus dude but yeah you can have a lot more customization which i like i guess even when we can't double pack a punch or even pack a punch to begin with if we get a random cause and effect that will give us pap that would be nice but we can also get with elemental pop the uh double pap so there are loopholes with this mod that's why i wanted to try it out on this map and see what it was like fun little experiment i suppose that's uh oh i want to spin the box but i'm probably gonna get my ass handed to me by these zombies the way they just like leap up on the uh the balcony is a bit scary jesus man the fire zombies actually getting phd wouldn't be bad then because I assume it'll give us fire immunity, maybe. Come on, what we getting? The, the Weevil? Oh, come on. It's definitely not bad for, like, points, but there are definitely better options out there. Come on, what we getting? A ray gun, okay. When a player takes damage, give a random gobble gun. 
Oh, there we go. <laughs> ephemeral enhancement. I guess that is actually a way we could um pack a punch our gun then. Boom. Ephemeral enhancement. Ray gun. I mean, if I take damage, do I get to keep it? No, I don't get to keep it. Head drama is good though. Every single shot will be a headshot. Good for more points, I guess. I forgot we even had this M887. I've just been swapping out my other gun. I kind of, I want to keep the ray gun, but at the same time, I want to try for the ray gun mark too, you know? Power vacuum. Not bad. Oh, I took damage again. Ow. Oh, I got eye candy. No, not after the last cause and effect. Jesus, dude. Get rid of that. Bored to death. That's like one of the worst gobble gums imaginable. Crate power. Okay. That's actually really, really, really good then. If we cannot take damage, we can actually get a pack-a-punched gun on farm. So essentially, whatever we get out of the box will become pack-a-punched. We don't have to take it, so we could wait, but I'll take an STG, honestly. Like, that's not bad at all. I quite like the STG, actually. I'm surprised it's in this map. That's what I love about remasters and remakes. The ones that just don't put the exact same guns in. Like, I think you should have the guns that were in the previous map, but you should add more, you know? Have a bit more variety. Because otherwise it just gets a little bit boring. Because like, why not just play the original at that point, you know? Also, when a zombie spawns, yeah, I can't slide right now. Actually getting trolled by the game, dude. When a zombie dies, give a random gobble gum? Okay. Well, let's see what we're gonna get. Barely alive. Zombies kills with headshots create teddy bear explosions. I had this in the last one. What does this actually do? Oh, wait. It does. Oh, but I just got a kill and it kind of disappeared. Aftertaste, not bad. Pop shocks. Zap point drops. Drop 500 of your own points as a power up. Oh yeah, this is one of the custom gobble gums. That's actually really cool because if you're playing multiplayer, you know, you can drop points for them. Turns on the power switch if able. Oh, that's a cool custom one. What's this one going to be? Bullet boost. Repack your current weapon. Wait, that's so good. Because we can actually do that. Now I've got turned. I mean, actually, I kind of want to get something different. Don't be Thunderwall, please. Okay, Blast Furnace. That's so good. Unbearable. Um, It's not bad, but I'd like something else. A nuke power up. I mean, I'll spawn it in for three points, but I'll spawn another one in. Impatient. That one's literally useless. Oh my god, we got another nuke. <laughs> we have three now. That's funny. Refills your specialist meter. I don't even have a specialist. Okay, and then we'll just go with three nearby zombies become turned. That's a bit cool, actually. Three nearby zombies become turned and it has four activations. When a player slides, a random perk is lost. Okay, do not slide. So many times have I fallen for this one. Just have to just keep my hand off of the slide button. But yeah, let's try and turn these zombies into turn zombies. That's a very interesting sentence, but you know. Okay, press, what is it, four? Four, three, two? What? What is my gobble gun button? Five? Oh, God, that's lying down. I don't know when it activates. Oh, one, here we go. Hey, look, they turn into turns. That's cool. Just have an army of turned zombies. Can we do even more? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? Okay, that's actually pretty cool, not gonna lie. When a door is purchased, give a random papped gun. Oh, I hate my life. If I had a single door left, I'd be able to bloody get that. Nope, that door's gone. There's no secret doors back here, are there? Nope. Oh, why, game? Why? That'd be so good right now. Oh, well, let's, let's do the... Uh, oh, God. Okay, so press 1. Turn zombies, let's go. I'm surprised Treyarch didn't come up with a gobble gum similar to that because it just kind of like makes sense, you know? And do it again, boom. Go turns, go turns. When a zombie dies to a grenade, perks will randomize their location. I mean, I kind of want to try it. We've got quick revive right here, but what if we get like, I don't know, maybe PhD back there. Why am I throwing it at the quick revive machine, dude? What is wrong with me? Here we go. Charge the grenade. One, two, three, four, and throw. Boom. Okay, I didn't actually kill any, but we got crawlers now. Okay, throw another grenade. Boom. A single kill would be nice. Hey, yeah, there we go. See, speed cold is there now. A double tap was up here. So what's this going to have changed to? Oh, it's still double tap. Okay. Fair enough. Fair enough. I do like ones like that because they're like small changes that don't impact too much. But they're still fun. I'm surprised it's only round 12, actually. Like, <laughs> time is going very slow. I think the spawns might be a bit slower on this map, actually. But, you know, it's fine. When a player gets a headshot... Oh, yes, I saw that grenade. You know, it's nice. But actually, wait, let's get PhD then. Where is PhD? Oh, that's Jug. It's got, like, a green glow to it. That's weird. Um, What is this? It's nothing now? Oh, no. Okay, PhD. There we go. Oh, shit. No, I got Dying Wish. I'm fine. Oh, that's massive. Oh, I'm alive somehow. Bro, Dying Wish is such a good perk. Seriously, grenade. Okay, PhD, thank you. 
Get the nuke. Oh my god. That was the most chaotic last 30 seconds I've had in ages. Jesus, man. I'm just trying to vibe, dude. <laughs> Let's get Vulture Raid. We have so many points. Let's just buy all the perks. Death Perception. Blood Wolf Bite. My favorite. It's just, it's such an iconic perk, really. When a player reloads, give a random gobble gum. Oh, I've got Bullet Boost again. Does, does it work on? No, it doesn't work on these guns, though. I guess we'll, we'll try and get rid of it again then. Power Vacuum. All right, I'll use that. Oh, another free perk. Don't mind if I do. Oh, we got Luna. Let's go. Go Luna. Go Luna. Oh, I reloaded. Oh, great power. So we can get another Packer Punch gun. And I, I don't mind getting rid of the Ray Gun because I do want to try for this Mark II if it's possible. The MP40 Packer Punch, you know? I don't know why this Packer Punch camo is like the worst I've ever seen, but it's fine. Oh yeah, we've got the, uh, the original Ring of Fire, dude. Like seriously, the original Ring of Fire was... Stone Cold Stronghold. Extra credit? Don't mind if I do, actually. Get some free points. Newtonian negation. I mean, this one's funny because, yeah, the zombies go, wee! <laughs> but I'd like something a bit more useful. Oh, negate all incoming damage. So, what? Every slap. Wait, that's overpowered. I can just get slapped and I can take it. All right, let's, let's try something else, though. Uh, special weapon. I don't have a special weapon. What? Mighty Midas. All weapons you hold become packer punched. Well, that would have been nice to know before. Oh, still, that's cool. Random and power up i suppose we'll take it oh a free perk and another one. Oh, i lost one it spawned a red perk what a troll dude i got a free one and lost one what did i lose oh i lost speed cola okay i kept the icu at least i guess shields up equips the player with a shield if able oh my god i actually have a shield that's so good what the fuck oh yeah and the teddy bear explosion one Oh my god, it actually does. It drops teddy bears. That's cute. Wall buys will give a random weapon in place of the wall gun. That's a weird one. Specialist weapon of the map. I, I just got the specialist weapon. Which, you know, it's just the annihilator. Wait, it's the gravity spikes? What? <laughs> I mean, that's kind of sick, actually. I did not expect that at all. I mean, it has the picture of the uh, the Annihilator, so... <laughs> when a zombie spawns, player speed is random. I was wondering why I was running slowly and then really fast. Oh, this is weird. I do like the random speed ones, though, because it's kind of cool. Adds a little bit of variety, you know? I was also wondering what that noise was, but it's still the uh, the Vulture Raid power-up drop things. You know how it drops, like, tiny bits of ammo and points? Like, those things, yeah. Which is pretty nice. Oh, a max. I was actually... I was due for one of those, because my, uh, my STG is running out. Okay, we've got our Ragnaroks back. Death Perception is actually quite nice for trying to find the last zombie, like... Okay, yeah, see? There we go. Don't know where he is? Just look through the wall. Oh yeah, we haven't even bought Elemental Pop this entire game. We, we've got we to appreciate it. Whoa, the glow. That's cool. So yeah, now we'll just randomly activate, like, Turned, Deadwire, all those. I think there's a few custom ones as well, which is nice. Come on, give me, give me something. Random effect, random effect. Any year now? I mean, we keep getting Blast Furnace. Oh yeah, there we go. See, we've got a turned and a blast furnace at the same time, which is quite sick. Let's pull out the old Ragnaroks. Screw it. Oh my god, my screen just went blurry. Slam, slam. There's no sound effect, but you know, it's still cool. When a zombie dies, held gun becomes unpapped. Oh, you're serious. So all that effort, all that work, I'm just going to lose my papped guns. That's just... <laughs> Classic cause and effect moment right there. It's fine. That's just, we might as well get rid of the guns then because we're going to lose them anyway. Oh, I guess if we don't hold out the other one, right? Oh, hello, monkeys. So if we only hold out this HVK, we'll ke keep the uh, the Packet Punched STG or whatever we have. We love the monkey bomb. Hello, Luna. Let's go. Attack them all, Luna. She's such a beast, dude. I know Blood Wolf Bite isn't like the best perk in the world, but it's still, it's just like a fun thing, you know? Like spawning in a werewolf that fights for you is kind of sick. This is so OP. We've made farms so much better. Like, we've got a shield, we've got Ragnaroks, we've got Pack-A-Punch, a load more perks, so many different things that you just couldn't have originally. It's literally farm, but just so much better. Oh yeah, and we have a, a zombie counter. I haven't even, I just forgot that I had that on the entire time. Zombie counter needs to be a default thing in every zombie game, man. Maybe not in Modern Warfare 3, because it's kind of difficult to, uh, to track, because it's going to be like a massive map with probably a shitload of zombies at one time. Let's go for another spin, though. What are we going to get? The Weevil again? Ended. I want something a bit better than a weevil. Come on, a ray gun. HVK again. Come on, I want some variety, man. Oh, arbitrary something. Okay, nice. A weevil again. You're serious. I got HVK weevil, HVK weevil. Game hates me. Insta kill though. I'll take it. It's just whenever I earn 100 plus points, I get a gobble gun. So if I get like a uh, clat or like that, or shoot two zombies at once. No, how, how was I able to do it before then? Oh, a knife. That might work. 
No? It's just, it ain't working now for some reason. Maybe I have to use the gobble gum that I already have or something. No, apparently no worky, I guess. Oh, there we go. There's the extra credit. Oh, and there's, what did I just spawn in? Spawns a random weapon power-up. A 48 drip? Huh? What is that? Oh, a pharaoh. I don't want that. I guess they were a bit delayed or something. That's strange, but we've still got a packet punch gun, thankfully. Oh, it was the MP40, not the STG, man. I had blast furnace. I should have just kept it. You know, brain no do the think sometimes. It's fine, dude. We're fine. Okay. With the zombies slapping, man. The fire is actually kind of terrifying to deal with. Okay, we've got Stone Cold Stronghold. It gives us, like, armor, right? Yeah. So we can we can withstand some more damage. I do want that insta, though. So, yeah, you just have to, like, stand in place for a second. And, yeah, you get this little ring around you. I still want there to be, like, a Cold War mod in BO3, man. Why is there no dedicated Cold War mod? I mean, there is one, but it's old and it's not very good. Because it's just, like, out of date. Oh, we've got a free perk. What is that? Stamina up. Don't mind if I do. But yeah, like there's no ring of fire or ether shroud or healing aura or anything like that. But yeah, like I'm so surprised there isn't a cold, a cold war mod yet. Can I stop getting the pharaoh, man? There are so many guns in this box and okay, there we go. A BRM. I'll take it, dude. It's a little bit better, I guess. I just camp down at the bottom for a second. If you're wondering what the perk icons are, they're from Killing Floor, I believe, or like Killing Floor inspired, which is pretty cool. Oh, a nuke. Don't mind if I do. Can we move? Oh, I wish when you got a nuke that the zombies would become, like, see-through so you could just walk through them. I hate the cock block, man. But anyway, the FFAR's back. Okay. It does shred, so I can't complain too much. The Gorgon? I'm good. It just fires really fast, and, you know, the fire zombies have a little bit less health because they explode and everything. So it's actually not too bad. Oh, God. Every time I go to reload, it makes me look away. Stop! Oh, my God. Ah! Holy shit. We're fine. I think Dying Wish activated. Oh, and Blood Wolf Bite. Hey, Luna, what's up? Get him, girl. Oh, you can pet her. I forgot. You can give her head pats. That's so cute, dude. Like, look, this is this is adorable. Tell me this isn't adorable, dude. Come on. All right, this is it. This is it. Come on. Ray gun or Ray gun SMG. I mean, there's three Ray guns in the box. So far, I've only had the crappy regular one. Pet the dog. Pet the dog for good luck, maybe. The dredge. I do genuinely think the dredge is underrated, not gonna lie. The cuda, ugh, really? Of all the guns, oh, don't get me stuck. Please, I'm fine, I'm not fine. Okay, that was the dying wish. RPK, can I fucking move? Jeez, look how many zombies are up there. There's so many that they're literally getting stuck up there. Holy shit, like they're barely able to jump down. Good God, dude, get me upstairs. Go for another spin. Oh my God, I should not have done that. Okay, we have a fireworks though. It's not too bad. I got a Vesper anyway. Risking my life for mediocre guns. Come on, man. I'm, I'm due some kind of decent weapon now. Oh, God, I'm red screen already. Jesus fucking hell. Somehow I'm alive. Oh, God. Okay, we're good. This game is, this game is chaotic. None of my guns are that good. Unless they're packet punched, they're just not going to do much damage. All right, here we go. We have one zombie left. We get a bit of time to maybe get something a little decent. We haven't had a teddy bear yet, which I appreciate. I mean, I think there's only one box spawn anyway, but... Dude, can I stop with the weevil? Oh, and I gotta kill him. He's bloody annoying me. When a power-up spawns, open a random door. I mean, it's not like we have any doors to open, but I appreciate the thought game. The Haymaker, I mean, actually not bad. Haymaker's great. It's just it runs out of ammo very quickly. XM53. I mean, ugh, to be honest, that'd probably be pretty decent. We do have PhD. Oh, yeah, we have monkeys, don't we? So, like, let's just throw one down and we can go and spin the box. And then we'll throw another one just to get them away. Oh, the razor bat. Let's go. I was waiting for it, dude. I mean, it's not even that amazing, but it's pretty good. I don't want to have this in the thumbnail of every video, so I'm not going to use it for this one, I don't think, because I sort of, when I do these videos, I have an idea of what my thumbnail is going to be. Usually, like normally I make my thumbnail before a video, but for cause and effect, you sort of like, you have to play and then see what happens in the game. And then you sort of realize what you're going to use. But yeah, this gun turns into a Wonder Wolf, which is pretty sick. Like, look, Zap, that's like basically a full haul with two shots. Not bad. Reminds me a lot of the wave gun from Moon because it has like the like swap fire thing. Oh, shit, I'm stuck. I, I pressed fire, but it didn't work, apparently. We've got an insta-kill, I suppose, and we've only got like eight zombies left. Oh, shit, get the death machine. Okay, and we got a max as well. Nice. All right, double tap. 
That's Deadshot Zachary. What? It. <laughs> I just. What? The machine didn't change, I guess. My bad. What's this then? Vigor Rush. Is, is that still Vigor Rush? Is, this is Blood Wolf Bite still. Is this Jug? It is. Okay. That, that was just strange. I'll get my essential perks first. Like Dying Wish is too good. This perk just disappeared. Oh, it's Double Tap. <laughs> Thank you, Invisible Double Tap, for saving the day again. Get Speed Cola, and now we can work on the, uh, the non-essential ones. Vigor Rush, I guess Elemental Pop. It is satisfying buying so many perks, to be honest. We'll get Vulture Raid, and we'll finish things off with a bit of Blood Wolf Bite. Zap. Oh, when a gumball is eaten, active gun toggles being papped. I mean, I would like to pack a punch this, so gimme gimme whatever this is. Nowhere but there. Tele teleport to a random downed player. So many cool, unique golems, but hey, we've got a... Oh, a free perk. We have a packer punch now, which is nice. The way you spray it is so cool. Look how many bullets come out of it. Like, it's like five, dude. It's not the best in the world because it's not very accurate, but it's definitely, like, it's a solid weapon. I prefer the other ray gun weapon variants, like the uh, Ray 5K and then the ray gun shotgun from the mob roof map. I've got videos on both of those if you're curious, so yeah, feel free to check those out. They're pretty fun, actually. But yeah, this one, I mean, this one has a Wonder Waff variant, so that's kind of the highlight here. Because look, I mean, not many guns have this, but the actual ray gun portion isn't the best in the world. Oh, spraying it. It sounds satisfying. Woohoo! Kind of going a bit crazy with the ammo, though, actually. Uh, I guess we can try and get a different secondary weapon. I'm not too fussed about keeping the MP40, so come on, we can get something decent. Get out of the way, zombies. Give me the haymaker. Cost zero. Alchemical, okay. The shoe shining 100. I mean, I guess we can go for another spin. Because if we get something better, that would be nice. It's still a free pack of punch, so I can't complain. Oh, it ended. Oh, well, dude. When a zombie dies to a grenade, active gun loses a bullet. Oh, come on, the game. Dude. That is the problem with using this mod on certain custom maps, though. It doesn't seem to work too well, but it's fine. Well, I mean, it reliably does work, actually. It's just, I have noticed the odd crash. But thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, check out this video on screen. You actually, you might enjoy it, you know? YouTube says you might. So subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video.